Welcome back to the D2L help videos created by the Learning Commons staff at Lone Star College Kingwood. I'm Allison, and in this video, I will demonstrate how to access your D2L homepage and give a few details about the page. There are a variety of ways in which you can access your D2L account. To begin, open a web browser. We recommend Google Chrome because we have found it to be the most reliable. In the address bar of your browser, type d2l.lonestar.edu. Click on the yellow rectangular box that says Secure Login. Type in your LSC username and password. Click on Login and it will take you to your Lone Star D2L homepage. To demonstrate the other ways to access D2L, I'm going back to the web browser, once again using Google Chrome, and in the address bar, I'm going to type lonestar.edu. This address will take you to the Lone Star College main web page. At the top of the page is a white menu bar. You can get to your D2L through Class Login or My Lone Star. Let's try Class Login first. Does this page look familiar? In the first option I showed you, typing in d2l.lonestar.edu took you directly to this page. In the second option, we are getting to this page through the Lone Star College website. You may not remember the D2L web address, but if you know the college's web address, which is lonestar.edu, you can always get to D2L through class login. So the rest of this option too is just like the first. Click on Secure Login, sign in using your Lone Star username and password, click Login, and your D2L homepage will pop up. There are two other ways to get to your D2L. Go back to the Lone Star College homepage and click on My Lone Star in the white menu bar at the top of the page. Log in with your Lone Star College username and password. Um, let me pause here and give you some tips about your LSE username and password. Many students either use their ID number for their username or have it saved to their computer. If you use the Learning Commons computers on campus, neither of these options will work. You have to know your LSC username. If you do not know your username, in the gray area of the box, click on Get Username. The page that pops up will require you to type in your LSC student ID number or the last four digits of your social security number. Type in your last name and date of birth, then click Submit. The next page will give you your LSC username. If you have forgotten your password or need to reset it, you will once again go to your My Lone Star login page and in the gray area of this box, click on Reset Password. Type in your LSC username or student ID number and click Submit. You will be asked at least two of your security questions that you set up. If you do not set up security questions, you may be prompted to do so at this time. After answering the questions, this page will pop up allowing you to create your LSC password. Follow the guidelines and click Submit. Now that you have your username and password, log in. This is your personal My Lone Star page. As a student, you should see at least three tiles. The student tile, the student email tile, and the LSC online tile. Click on the LSC online tile. Since we are learning about how to access your D2L homepage, I will only be talking about the Brightspace D2L tile here. Let me point out one more thing. This might be the first time you've heard or seen the word Brightspace. Brightspace is actually the name of the learning management software that Lone Star College is using. D2L is the company that developed Brightspace. To my knowledge, most people here at Lone Star College Kingwood call it D2L. 
So click on the Brightspace D2L tile. Your D2L homepage will pop up. There's one more option for getting to your D2L homepage. That is through the student portal and your My Lone Star. So from this page and your My Lone Star, we have to get back to the homepage. And to do so, we will click on the house icon at the top of the page. On your My Lone Star homepage, click on the student tile. Once again, I am only going to talk about getting to your D2L courses. So if you haven't yet explored your My Lone Star account, come back and do so later. To get to your D2L homepage, there is a gray vertical bar on the left side of the screen. Click on the blue computer mouse icon that has Brightspace D2L underneath it. Your D2L homepage will pop up. Everyone's D2L homepage will be different as it will only show the courses you are enrolled in. My page is different because I am an employee. The only commonality is the student orientation tile. As I mentioned in the introduction video, all students are required to take this course and pass the quiz before they can access their class. The Learning Commons videos are meant to be supplements to the orientation course. Watching our videos will not give you access to your course, just a better understanding of D2L. If you don't see your course or you cannot open it, one reason may be that you have not completed the orientation course. If you have completed the orientation and cannot open your course by the first day of class, please notify your instructor. There are two ways you can open your course. One is by clicking on the course tile, and the second one is by clicking on the nine square icon at the top of the page which shows your courses in a list view. Click on the course you want to open. If you are finished with this course and want to go to another, click on the nine square icon and click on the course you want to go to. When you're in a course and need to return to the home page, go to the top of the page and click on Lone Star College Online. This will return you to your D2L home page. You'll notice that I have a pin in the top right corner of two of my course tiles. I open these courses often, so I want them at the top of my list so that I can easily find them. To pin a course, hover your cursor in the top right corner of the course tile. Three horizontal dots appear. Click on them. Click on the word pin. A pin will appear and move your course to the top. In my case, since I already had two courses pinned, this course will now be in the third position. Pinning a course changes the position of the tile and where the course appears in the list view. One more thing before we move on. Right now I can see all of my courses, but if I just want to see the pinned courses, I can click on Pinned. If I want to unpin a course, I hover my cursor in the top right corner of the course tile, click on the three horizontal dots, and click Unpin. Any new announcements from the system or your instructor will appear below your course tiles under Announcements. If a new announcement has been posted, you will see a colored dot next to the bell icon at the top of your D2L homepage. If you receive any new emails to your D2L email, which is different from your LSC email, a colored dot will appear next to the envelope icon at the top of the page. This concludes how to access your D2L homepage, information about your LSC username and password, and details about the D2L homepage. For more information, visit our library webpage at lonestar.edu slash library slash Kingwood. You can view more D2L help videos by clicking on the D2L help icon.